We created an entire game based on strangers' votes. We got four questions, 2D or 3D. You have to pick your number between 1 and 5. These are the game types, and whatever number wins, we will turn into the game. Same for the other categories. They need to pick a color for the difficulty, and choose a random object in their room which will be in the game. Now we just have to find strangers. Pick 2D or 3D? 2D. So we have two 2Ds and we'll just use that because 3D is very hard and it's our video, so... Pick any number between 1 and 5. 5. 5. 2. 2. 5. Pick a number 2. 3. 3. 3? Alright, 3. 4. 3. 1. 8. Oh, great. Here we go. 3. Pick any color and tell me. Red. Blue. Red. Green. Red. Blue. 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 Okay. Blue. Blue. Pick any object in your room right now. Oh, this. Shoe. Yard. A bottle. A bottle. Key. Phone. Pillow. Uh, it's a Mac tape charger. These scissors. Okay. My dick. My phone. I guess that's enough strangers. Alright, here are the results and winners. It will be a 2D top-down shooter game, and the difficulty is very hard. And here are the objects. This will be an interesting game. Now we'll make the sprites for the game. Because our drawing levels are beneath 6 year olds, we decided to use our little buddy for some help, AI. These are all the characters we created. Alright, here's the idea. After brainstorming night and day, we decided that you're basically a bottle in a school trying to survive and you have to fight these waves of enemies and they get increasingly harder. I know, billion dollar idea. Now we can start creating the actual game. After importing our main character and some boring coding and animation, he can walk and do his little dance. Our first basic weapon will be these scissors. That's not how it's supposed to work. That is way too fast. That's too slow. That's decent. Ahem, <clears throat> yoink. With our newly found graphics, we can start creating the map now. We got some tables that you can rock around and the camera actually follows the character now. We just gotta add the enemies and the basics are done. Personally, we created an enemy class for every single entity that will try to kill us. In there will be the basic things such as health, time between attacks and being able to take damage. Now that we imported our first enemy, he still does kind of nothing. So we made it that he follows us wherever we go. We also added the other enemies, but they don't have any abilities or anything, so they're just placeholders for now. Each enemy will have a specific stop range. When this range is reached, it will attack us. And every enemy has their own attack speed with a different amount of damage, of course. Because our main character right now is a literal god who can't die, we have to add health to him as well. Because we want waves of enemies actually coming for us, we made it that random enemies spawn after a certain amount of time at a random place. And because the game is supposed to be super difficult, as the game goes on, the waves of enemies will become bigger and bigger. The basic premise of the game is done, but now it needs a little glow up, so time for a little polish. I think that looks pretty good. While giving the other enemies some features, such as shooting, we also implemented the health bar and power-ups that will spawn randomly. This phone will give you back one health when picked up. There's also the yarn that will just circle around you and deal damage to the enemies. This key will be your new weapon for 10 seconds and deal double the damage and you can spam the living shit out of it. The Infinity Gauntlet is also a power-up, which is literally a game saver when stuff comes from everywhere and you can't see anything. The last enemy that we gave abilities is the Shu, but he's now a goddamn necromancer, who can now spawn the charger cable, which will deal damage. And we have a death animation. Kind of? After giving the game some finishing touches and removing the tables, the game is pretty much done. And I'm gonna be honest, it is pretty difficult, but it's also kind of fun actually. You can try it on itch.io, subscribe for more content. Bye.